Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone, my name is Nan Sophia And in this video, I'm gonna tell you how to hold a successful seminar or workshop If you want to hold a seminar or workshop You must watch this video till the end The first is identify the needs of participants This stage is important for your seminar to be successful You can look around you what the issues or the thing that people or participants need the most. I will give an example. You see that many colleagues, students in university get into trouble while working on proposal. So this is a great opportunity for you. You can hold a seminar or workshop on making proposal. I believe I can be sure that will more participants who interest with your event or workshop or seminar. The second is select the topic. As with the first stages, choosing topic that are indeed participant issues or need is very important. Make the theme of your seminar or workshop as attractive as possible. I will give an example. This is the topic. The topic is proposal workshop and the theme is how to make a good proposal in two days. I believe more and more participants are eager to follow your event. The third is find the speaker. This is one of the most important stages in organizing a successful workshop or seminar. The more famous or the more expert a speaker, the more interesting your workshop or event or seminar. <laughs> That why before organizing the event, workshop or seminar, you must make sure who will be the speaker is. Make sure they are the expert in the field. That why participant will believe with your event. The fourth is choose location or place. Of course, when you want to hold an event, seminar or workshop, you need a place to hold it. This stage is also one of the most important stage. Before you are determined the place, you must know who your target is. Are they an adult, college student, or who? You should also be able to predict how many participants will join in your workshop or seminar. And after you already know who your participants are and you already know how many the, how many persons will take a part, then you will be able to determine the place easily. The five is select the date. That is one of the most important things that determine the successful of seminar or workshop. You must choose the right date, make sure all of your participants can attend your event. Six. Determine the price of your ticket. Before you determine the price of the ticket, you must know who you are the participant are, where is the place of your seminar workshop. Yes. Because most people are more interested in event with low ticket price. Honestly, when I see the seminar or workshop, the first thing I see is the price. I really believe the First thing people see in an event is the price of the ticket. If you want to hold an event, you need to determine the participant and place. So this can determine the price of your ticket. The last but not least is sponsor. <laughs> sponsor are one of the major contributors in funding your event. The more sponsor your event, the more funding will you get. And finally, you can make brochure or billboard about your event. So, many people can know your workshop and the more likely you will get a lot of participants. This is an example of complete and good brochure. You can see here or here. In this brochure, include the title and who is the speaker to, the date, place or location, and the price. 
and also this sponsor include the sponsor. These are seven stages hold to hold a successful seminar or workshop. I believe if you follow these stages, then your event will be held successful. Thank you for your nice attention and thank you for watching my video. I hope this video useful for you and the last I say, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. See you in another video.